have been a big fan of the 8-bit Pocket Plus by Columbus Circle, which is a portable Famicom. It ends up that it has a cousin called the Retro Hammy Portable Pocket NES that plays full-sized NES cartridges. The RetroRoad Hemi Portable Pocket NES console has a 2.8 inch LCD screen and plays full size 72 pin Nintendo Entertainment System cartridges. The 2.8 inch LCD screen plays NES games at a native resolution without scaling and is surprisingly crisp and bright. Now, the similarities between the 8-bit Pocket Plus and the Hemi Portable Pocket NES can't be a coincidence since they literally look like they're rolled off the same assembly line. The only difference is the cosmetic stylings that looks more like an American NES and a 72-pin connector instead of a Famicom-style 60-pin connector. Columbus Circle has their game console manufactured in China, and I suspect that Retroid may be their manufacturing partner. The gray plastic shell with black horizontal stripes and red buttons really does the NES design language well, and it looks pretty darn good next to official Nintendo hardware. It features a decent D-pad, a reset button right on the front, start and select buttons located in the center of the unit, and red AB buttons next to turbo AB buttons. Unlike my Columbus Circle 8-bit Pocket Plus, you can actually turn the volume slider all the way down and the audio stops. The build quality on my particular unit looks a little janky. The 72-pin connector was slightly a little off, but still accepted and played every single cartridge without it looking wonky. And there's a tiny, tiny piece of fiber and debris between the LCD screen and the plastic that covers it. I can move it around by pressing on the plastic, but I can't get rid of it. There's a QC pass sticker on the back, and let's just say that the quality control in this particular factory might have been a little off on this particular day. Now, this is a pretty darn accurate clone console and not an emulator. It boots up instantly and has an extremely high compatibility rate with NES cartridges. It played every single official release NES cartridge that I tried, and most of the multi-cart bootleg cartridges worked. However, my Konami bootleg multi-cart did not work. Famicom games worked using uh, my arcade adapter, my Hyperkin Famicom to NES adapter did work. My EverDrive N8 Fami also did not work, but it often does not work with clone consoles. Still, it handled almost every legit NES cartridge that I threw at it. The games that require a zapper or special controllers aren't going to work, but that's not a surprise because it doesn't have a second controller port. So there's no way to play two player games on this particular system. Famicom Castlevania 3 did not have the correct audio, but that's probably because I was using an adapter that did not support Famicom Expanded Audio. The US Castlevania 3 worked perfectly. It cost $48, and that included shipping from China. It took 16 days for my order to arrive, but considering it had free shipping by boat, and went through customs, that's not bad. It is powered by four AAA batteries that are not included, but I got rechargeable batteries for it for just $11. It actually has excellent battery life, and you can play it for quite a long time without it needing to be charged. Instead of coming with an AC adapter that's not rated for the US, it came with a USB-A cable that can plug into the DC input. That's nice, but I'm probably gonna use it with batteries anyway. They also included an AV cable that gives surprisingly good output on an analog CRT screen. I tried running it into my HDMI capture device using a scaler and I got less than good results. But you're not going to buy something like this to hook up to an HDMI screen. You're going to get this to play Nintendo cartridges in the palm of your hand and it works quite well for that. Now, I'm sure kids these days like to play their Nintendo Entertainment System games by emulation on the Nintendo Switch, but that's only a handful of games. If you have real cartridges and you want to play them on a portable system, then I really would recommend this one. If you have a big Nintendo collection, then this thing is stupid fun. It really feels good in your hand, and it feels like a Nintendo product that Nintendo should have made but did not. Of course, Nintendo would have had higher manufacturing quality control standards. 
I absolutely look forward to going on a plane and playing Final Fantasy, Super Mario, or Dragon Warrior on this thing and have the rest of the passengers in my row look on either with envy or quizzical wonder. Of course, you don't need to have one of these, but you don't need to play retro video games. You want to play retro video games, and this is a very fun way to play your existing cartridges on a handheld portable system. The Retro Road Hemi Portable Pocket NES is ridiculous, but it's also a heck of a lot of fun. This is 8-Bit Joystick. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay awesome. Play retro.